फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोफिशेंट वाइल डीलिंग विद द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कंडक्शन एंड कन्वेक्शन कंबाइन ओके एट दैट टाइम वी आर कंसिडरिंग ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कोफिशेंट एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल यू सो वाइल डीलिंग विद द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ फ्लूड टू फ्लूड हिट ट्रांसफर अक्रॉस द मेटल बाउंड्री it is usually to adopt an overall heat transfer coefficient which gives the heat transfer rate per unit area per unit time per unit temperature difference between the bulk fluid on each side of the metal so we can consider the overall heat transfer in case of heat exchanger okay same like as in boiler okay so in that case we are considering both the convection and conduction combine okay at that time we are considering overall heat transfer coefficient here we are considering plane wall its thickness is l on left hand side of the wall we are considering hot fluid on right hand side of the wall we are considering cold fluid the heat transfer coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient okay for the hot fluid it is hhf heat transfer coefficient for convection for hot fluid same as for cold fluid we are considering hcf heat transfer coefficient for cold fluid here we are considering thf and tcf it is the temperature of hot fluid we are considering on one side of the plate and tcf it is the temperature of the cold fluid we are considering on another side of the plate t1 and t2 it is the temperature with the hot fluid and cold fluid of the metal plate here we are also considering the resistance okay we have already derived the equation of resistance from the uh, analogy uh, between the thermal circuit and electrical circuit okay and the heat transfer coefficient for convection is 1 upon ha and for conduction is l upon ka we have already derived it in our previous lecture if you want to clear your fundamental how to derive the equation of resistance for conduction and convection then you can watch this video okay so this is the thermal circuit for this plane wall okay 1 upon ha it is the resistance of convection for hot fluid l upon ka it is the conduction resistance for the uh, plane wall here we are considering k is the thermal conductivity for the wall material and 1 upon hcf into a it is the convective resistance for cold fluid now we apply the newton law of cooling for convection and fourier law for conduction we have already derived this equation also in our previous lecture our first lecture of heat transfer okay i think first or second lecture okay so you can watch it so q equal to h a delta t it is newton law of cooling and it is applicable for convection so here we apply the newton law of cooling because here the convection will be take place and it is generally occur in fluids fluids mean liquid and gases in wall we apply the fourier law fourier law q equal to minus k dt by dx we have already discuss here the k is the thermal conductivity a is the surface area which is perpendicular to the direction of heat flow t1 t2 it is the temperature difference at one side of the wall and another side of the wall and l is the thickness of the wall same as on another side of the wall we are applying newton law of cooling q equal to ha delta t for cold fluid and here the temperature difference is t2 minus tcf and here the temperature difference is thf minus t1 and for wall the temperature difference is t1 minus t2 so in previous slide we have already discuss equation 1 to n Three. By rearranging equation one, two, and three, we are getting. Now we will make the object delta t temperature difference from equation one, two, and three, and then we are getting. So in equation one, object is T H F minus T one. So this term it is in denominator of the Q. So T H F minus T one equal to Q upon H H F. into a same as from equation 2 now we will make the object t1 minus t2 so remaining term q 
K A it is in denominator and L it is multiply with the cross multiply with the Q. So T1 minus T2 equal to Q L upon K A is that. Okay, so T2 minus T C F equal to Q upon H C F into A. Now adding equation four, five, and six. Okay, we are getting. So here you can see that t1 t1 cancel. This is minus t1. This is plus t1. This is uh, minus t2. This is plus t2. So it is cancel out. So remaining term is thf minus tcf. And on right hand side, there is a common term q. Okay, so q in bracket. 1 upon H H F into A, 1 upon K A, plus 1 upon H C F into A. So now we will make the object Q. So this whole term it is in denominator of the delta t. So Q equal to A into delta t divided by this term. It is in denominator. Okay, here U is the overall heat transfer coefficient. it is transferred due to temperature difference so this is delta t term a it is the surface area okay which is perpendicular to the direction of heat flow and u it is the overall heat transfer coefficient where u equal to remaining term 1 upon convective resistance for hot and cold fluid plus conduction resistance for wall so q equal to u a delta t Okay, we are using this equation uh, while dealing with the problem of conduction and convection combined. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends. Jai Hind.